Just a few years ago, truly wireless earbuds were something out of the movies. Play a melancholy song. When you know you're gonna die. Today, they're reality. And thankfully, not all of them look as ridiculous as these. Now that it looks like Apple's ditching the audio jack with the next iPhone, it's the perfect time to see if we can really cut the cord. Over the past couple of years, Kickstarter projects like Erin and Braga have popped up. Now big names like Onkyo and Samsung are getting in on the action. The hardest part about going from wired to wireless is now you have to worry about keeping your phone and your earbuds powered up. And since they're so small, they usually only last about three hours. But most come with a charging case, so when you're not using them, they're powering up in your pocket. And surprisingly, most of them stayed in my ears. If you buy these, make sure you buy one with a microphone. If not, you've got to take them out when you answer the phone. Hey, Mom. The biggest hurdle with these wireless headphones is that a lot of them just don't work. Trust me, I found out the hard way. Out of the pairs I tried that are actually on sale, only three of them stayed connected. The Samsung Icon X, the Earin, and the Braga. The rest would just randomly disconnect and my music would cut out. So which one should you buy? The one that performed the best by far in our test, the Samsung Icon X. At 199 bucks, they're the cheapest of the three that work. They look the least ridiculous and they're the ones that felt the most comfortable. The microphone works surprisingly well even though it's all the way up in your ear and they have touch controls which allow you to answer the phone or skip tracks. Samsung says they only work with Android but I was able to use them with my iPhone, no problem. They do have some fitness tracking functions but those only work with an Android app. If you're an iPhone user and you do want those fitness functions, the Braga Dash works with both iPhone and Android but they're a lot bulkier than the Samsung and cost $100 more. When you're out running, it's great not having to worry about a cable getting all tangled up. To tell you the truth though, I'm not excited about having to keep yet another device charged. The good news, most people think that Apple is going to allow you to plug your headphones into the charging port. So it's not quite a wireless world just yet.